Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Yakuza 3, battle game, uh, batten cage is a uh, minigame completion guide thingy, yeah. So um, I'm going to show you normal, how normal game works, and hard game. Uh, normal game is a lot easier than easy, which is the ironic thing, this is supposed to be a, up, a difficulty upgrade from easy. Uh, with normal, there's more room for error. And in this mode, you get a reticle because you're targeting. Because uh, you got more than one target, you got four targets. Four. Uh, ball velocity isn't that bad. It's pretty normal. So yeah, wait until he uh, tenses up. And then hit. That one's a curve. So yeah, you wanna get this home run here. Oh, I can't. That's a straight. That went a bit fast. 120 kilometers. That was a 72 uh, curve. 72 kilometers. That went a bit slow. That was 118 kilometers straight. Uh, so yeah, if you get all three home runs, you get like a little target that you need to hit. That was 102 kilometers straight. So yeah, there's your target up there. You need to like aim there, aim position there. Sorry, I'm, I'm holding this recording thing. So yeah, if you get that, you get 300 points. And I, I hit it too soon. It happens. I platted this ages. I platted this a few weeks ago, so I'm not going to be out of my game. Although I may have to do this again on Yakuza 5. I'm currently playing Yakuza 5. I've also platted Yakuza 4 too, which is a lot easier to plat than 3 and 5. I think 3 is the hardest out of the out of the free games on the PS3. I can't speak for Yakuza Sir or Dead Souls. I'm not really interested in playing Dead Souls. It's like a side game. I'm not really interested. Yeah, that was a slow curve. It ain't too bad. You know, you can make more. I'd say if you can make four misses and easily get 1800 to complete this uh, course. Not really that hard. Yeah, it's just a bit difficult to um, for me to. Ah, there we go. And we just. Alright, yeah, you get 300. I ain't gonna get 800, but that's alright, but that was a straight one. That was an 82 kilometers curve, ball. That was a sinker, 82 kilometers. I can't speak for the other ones. So yeah, get three home runs and hit the target. So yeah, the target is nine home runs. And three of those target thingy, you know, small target thingies. And you should be able to, uh, you should be able to complete this easy. All right, next one. Next one is hard. We're gonna do hard. Hardy, hardy, hardy. Right, I'll just show you what I do. I ain't gonna complete this, but you shouldn't have a hard time with this. Right. You wanna hit in between uh, 
the squares here to hit both. That one's a straight, and that one's a fast turn. Let's see if we can get hit two at once. There we go. That was pretty good. That was a curve, and that went pretty fast, I think. So we've got 18 balls there. That one's a straight, 120 kilometers. I think that was relatively fast. So yeah, trying to hit between. You get a trophy if you hit two tiles with one shot anyway. Oh, okay. I got a... You can also, like, aim it here. I missed that one. That one's a bit difficult. Try and... That one's an engine 18 kilometers straight. And then if you hit all nine squares, you get to hit the small target thingy again. That one's a 67 kilometers curve. That one's fairly slow. That one's under 20. If you hit corners, you get more points, I think. It all depends what you hit. Ideally, you want to try to hit double tiles to save on the balls. But, like, no, not as hard once you know what you're doing. I think hit double. Yeah, we go. Hit double. That one was a sinker, by the way. This one, that was a straight, and I wasn't looking because I'm busy holding this fucking thing here. That one was 82 kilometer curve, so I guess that's a medium speed. Can't say. I hit too soon, that was 120 kilometers straight. See, there's this little target here. You want to hit that, and you get like 300 points. And we hit. Not really that bad. You just got to know what you're doing. Just trying to hit between the tiles, and you should be able to. Oh, that's shit. No, I'm just trying to hit this one if I can. Hit the one in the middle. That was a 118 km sinker, so that went pretty fast. km straight, that went fast too. Not bad. The key key to doing these courses is the ball, the type of throws that are coming, the velocity of each throw, because you know knowing the Ball velocity and the type of throws is very crucial to complete an X hard. Um, so yeah, you shouldn't have trouble with normal and hard. Not really. Might do the, and you get a reward. You might, might do X hard actually. So yeah, I might do X hard. So this one is very hard. Because you don't have a reticle. Now, before you begin X hard, make your own. Get a bit, a bit of tape, but sell it. Uh, duct tape if you're American, or cello tape if you're outside America. I'm from England, so we say call them cello tapes. Cut a piece of cello tape. Position it where the reticle is on normal. Play a quick game of normal. Position it, and then put a little marker. At the set, make a little target thing, like a little reticle, like a crosshair thing, on, on the cellotape, just over 
the, the reticle on the computer and that should make targeting easier now the hard thing about this game is the type of throws and the, the velocity and the kind of philosophy you have to deal with and yeah so you use the target here I haven't got a cursor because I've already done this but I'm going to tell you the ball's velocity that's fast, that's 160 kilometers straight that's a fast straight so I'm going to te tell you what you to expect that was a uh, slow curve hitting all nine that's a fast sinker, that's 120 kilometers So, knowing what to expect, that's a medium straight, 87 kilometers. I think it's a medium. Sorry, got the. Oh, crap. There we go. That's 138 kilometers. That's an 80 kilometer curve. Hundred forty eight kilometer sinker. That's a eighty one kilometer sinker. That's a hundred and eighty kilometer curve, so that's kinda of medium or fast, I can say. That's a fast one hundred and fifty eight kilometers straight. Would well, you know what the type of throws that you expect? They're pretty set in place, not random or anything like that. 142 kilometers straight, that was. That's a 112 kilometer curve. That's a 110 kilometer curve, that was pretty fast. two kilometers straight this is very important in the velocity because you know when to tense up you know when uh, Kazuma is going to tense up as he tense up that's when you hit so you need to practice on your timing you'll get it in the end I got lucky though but you will get it in the end 128 kilometer curve That's 148 kilometer sinker. That's a 87 kilometer sinker. And the last but not least is 161 kilometer straight. So yeah, hit all nine, hit the small target up here. With the crosshairs you made, shouldn't be too hard. And as long as you know what to expect from the throws, the speed it, it will come at you. You shouldn't have too much trouble with X hard. It will take some time to master X hard, but you will prevail. So yeah, thanks for watching. Good luck with the batting cages. I hope you do prevail.